what's up guys? It's me, the Hot Dog King. You guys want to eat some hot dogs? You want to go get Yako? How did I become the Hot Dog King? You're probably wondering. That's real easy. You see, I'm eating a hot dog right now. That's how I become the Hot Dog King. You got to eat the weaker hot dogs. You got to be willing to do shit like that if you want to be the king. All right, you want to come down to Yako's and get yourself some hot dogs? Oh, what's that? You don't have any money? Ah, uh, looks like your mom's got $20 in her purse. Why don't you just go over there and steal it? She ain't even gonna know. She's got a job. You can go ahead and take that $20. Then you bring down to Yako's to get yourself some hot dogs. Let's get yako buddy. Come on. Come on. Nobody's looking. Just get yako Nobody's gonna give it. We're all gonna die, goddamn. Let's go get yako The secret sauce is one of a kind. We're here at the Yakos Hot Dog King. You wanna watch an RKG food review? Yeah. Should sound be a category now? No. <laughs> Welcome to the Yakos review. So the first thing we got, <laughs> plain hot dog. It just looks like this. The sniff test. I'm not getting a whole lot of dog, it just it kinda smells like a warm bun. I got the dog. Open up the, yeah, open up the, the you'll get the dog. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an okay smell. It smells like a regular hot dog. Yeah. Was like regular hot dog, just like it smelled. <laughs> Do you have something to add, Connor? Go ahead. <laughs> it smells like it just came off the grill, just like the the Five Guys burgers. It smells like it just came off the grill. So for a, I'm it just saying that every time we smell something, it smells like it came off the grill. Yeah. Dude, it does, right? I think they grill them. <laughs> no, dude, it did. I guess everything does smell like it comes off the grill, which is good, bro. They're a little small. Yeah, that's very true. They are kind of small. But I feel like the bun overshadows the okay. dog a little bit. No, nah, we'll get enough dog in there, bro. Alright, the first bite. Come on, bro. Dude. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I still think there's a little too much bread. The hot got, dog is very good, though. Mm, I got a good hot dog in there. Let me squeeze a little dog out of the bun. I guess, what do we expect with a plain hot dog? Yeah. I think they work better in tandem than just the hot dog. Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm not really blown away. It's... I'm not particularly blown away either. It's good for a hot dog, but it's still a hot dog. It tastes like uh, straight out of the frozen pack, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it tastes like I just pulled it out of my freezer and cooked it, and I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to do that than to come to Yakos and buy it. My dad is usually the griller in the family, so he would have... So he would have took it and put it on the grill, but... That's what it tastes like. So I don't know. It's good. I think I just like it's probably cheaper, and they're small too. Like the ones that my dad puts on the grill are bigger, so I might as well just eat at home. And they also got a sign in there saying they use Mrs. T's pierogies. So it seems like um, they're not like again saying, "Hey, we're not really making our own food." Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, it doesn't taste like um, anything different. Let's rate this plain hot dog, baby. Connor, what's the smell like? He didn't smell it. Oh, yeah. So, what's the smell? I gave it an 8 because it just smells like a regular hot dog. Um, maybe 8 was a little too high. I'm going to give it a 5. It just smelled like a regular hot dog, which I guess that's what you kind of expect with a plain hot dog. So, yeah, 5. I'm going to give it a 4.5 because they're claiming to be the hot dog king, and I'm getting less than plain hot dog smell. It, it smells bland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It smells very boring. Makes sense, makes sense. You can't be the hot dog king and not have a good smell on hot dogs. Tell us about the feel. Too many hot dogs. It's about the same as this hot dog. Out of ten. It's a cylinder, bro. Of meat in a bun. I don't know how I could say, oh, this feels better than any other hot dog I've ever had. Okay, bro. So what, a five? An average? No, I'll go with like an eight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I was like, no, I'm actually going to give this to the first eleven of the show. So the feel for me was probably also like, a, like an eight. Because it was small, it was compact, it was able to fit in my hand easily, right? I didn't have to, like, hold it certain ways and stuff like that. It also, you complained about the bun, I liked the bun, because if there was stuff on it, it wouldn't have fallen off mm -hmm. or fallen out the back because of, of the feel. Yeah. So, yeah, I give it an 8. Yeah, that's true. It gives you space to, to add more. So, I was, I was going to give it, like, a 6. I'll give it a 7 because it... The plain hot dog has potential. We didn't have any condiments or anything, so you could you could definitely get some ketchup and mustard in there, and it'll feel right at home. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, for sure. It it also wasn't like too much hot dog, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't a lot of hot dog. How does it taste, bro? I'm out of here. Oh, it was pretty good. I'll give it like seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm. It tasted just like a grill out of the pack. If I'm gonna come to uh, the supposed hot dog king, I hope something about it is gonna be different than the average hot dog that mm -hmm. I make at home. And it's not, so it's an average hot dog. It, I'm gonna give it a four, actually, below average, because 
It's not. It's just an average hot dog. They advertise it as something exactly. better. Exactly. I'll give it a five. It was kind of average, but again, I feel like that's because we didn't utilize the condiments to the best of their ability. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess that's what a plain hot dog is meant for. Just to be plain. Yeah. So we're giving it plain readings. Nice and plain. Yeah. Price. Um, it's gonna get a ten. It's like a dollar for a hot dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's good. I agree. Um, overall, the plain Yakos hot dog. It's gonna get a six from me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm in that same boat. I'm gonna give it a six, maybe a five and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven. The second Yakos hot dog. Can someone tell us what's on this? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to know. The secret Dude, sauce. Looks like there's this, a hot dog in there. This is beef, on it, bro. mustard, you know onions, uh, a different kind of beef. Uh, there's like a, a chili dog, thing this, on it. The secret sauce. All right, the sniff test. You, you definitely pick up on the other ingredients. I'm not usually a big onion or chili guy. Yeah. I didn't really smell the onion or chili. I think it, I think it works well together. Oh, I, I, I smelled more of the onion, less of the chili. First bite. It's definitely got more pizzazz than the last one. Uh-huh. Because it's got more topping. It's giving me a lot, like, it's giving me a lot more with just a little bit. That's pretty good. Off of first rip. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. And like I said, bro, not an onion guy. I'm enjoying this so far. Mm-hmm. And look, dude, they're not they're not doing too much. They're sprinkling some onion on there. No, I'm getting a lot of Putting mustard. A couple, a couple condies on it, and it's it's significantly better than the than the plain. Cool. Yeah. Picking up a lot of mustard. I don't know if it's a hot dog king though. I don't know if it's a king of hot dogs. I think we're kind of just bullying it for its for its advertisement. But it'd be kind of weird if they were like, we're the most average hot dog. That's good. And that was a good. That was a good hot dog. This was a very good hot dog. It was a good hot dog. I'm kind of hitting the bulk of the onions. The onions seem a little too concentrated in some areas. I didn't think so. I guess it depends on on the how making. They spread it. Yeah. Tell us about how that one smelled. So when you smell it, you get more just the, more than just the regular hot dog smell. Obviously, the smell of I got a lot more chili than I did any other ingredient, which is not bad. It was good. It had a good smell of a combination of the hot dog and the chili. I got a little mustard smell. I'm not the biggest mustard guy. Oh my god, who the hell? <laughs> I, I guess a seven. It was good smell. I'm gonna give the smell an eight. I thought it smelled really good compared to the plain one, but also it smelled really good in that like it made me look forward to eating these things that I don't normally like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I, I'm not a big mustard guy myself, nor my big onion fellow. As you can tell by my body, I'm not. I don't or, mess with the vegetables. Or, well, I put it in my hand and felt something, so they did something. We're gonna stop bringing you. So how did it feel? I just said the feel was uh, not much different than a regular hot dog. It was not any heavier, really. It was no lighter, so it's, it's gonna get the same rating that I gave it. Which I think was a seven. Oh, I didn't read mine. Oh. Yeah, same as whatever I said for the regular hot dog, because you can feel the ingredients. You can't really feel the difference. That's the thing about hot dogs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it an additional .5, because I also forget what I gave it. <laughs> so, whatever it was, .5, I thought it had a better texture than the plain hot dog. Tell us about the taste, Connor. Oh, it was really good, bro. I, I for one, do enjoy mustard. Mm-hmm. Kind of because it has a funny name. Also because it's good. Okay. So, it was really nice. I would give it like a nine. All right. Man, it was really good. Was All really right. Good. I feel um, it was good. Definitely, it was definitely good. Definitely way better than the plain one. Um, I guess it's just because I don't have as much to know about. I guess I don't have as much of a sample size because the hot dogs are so small. So it's hard to really go off. I knew we should have got two. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should have gotten two. <laughs> But um, I feel like the the ingredients complemented well. Uh, I'm, I really don't like mustard. Um, for someone who likes mustard, like Connor, though, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a big addition, and it didn't feel out of place. So even though I don't like mustard, I didn't like mind the mustard being on it too much. I would have preferred ketchup. I don't think they had ketchup on it. At least I didn't taste any. Um, but yeah, the onions and the chili and the ketchup and their secret sauce all mixed pretty. Not the ketchup, the mustard. All mixed pretty well. And the plain hot dog flavor was also still apparent. So um, overall, probably um, it's probably a, a seven and a half. 
and ate. I wasn't like. Yeah, it doesn't really blow you away. The hot dog. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good meal. Yeah. Hot, Yakos, not bad at all. Um, was I? I just wasn't blown away with it. Yeah, I would have preferred ketchup on it. I would have preferred a little bit less onion. Mm -hmm. I like the onions, but go ahead. I, I like the onions more than I usually like onions. I just, I just I just wish there were a few less. There were some bites that I took. I was like, wow, that's a lot of onion. Mm. Um, I also wish it was just a little bit bigger. I know for the plain hot dog, we were like, oh, the con the condiments will really like, and the extras will really fill it out more. And still felt like a like a small yeah. amount of food. I it's wish good. I wish the hot dog was a little bit bigger, and I wish they would have put um, the same ratio, but with a bigger dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give the taste a 7.5. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I gave it. Um, yeah. Price, it was like $2. It's not price bad. It's not a bad price. I think... It I think was a good price. Yeah. Six, for six doggies, bro? I think, it was de I think the price was for definitely worth it. six dogs, three fries, and three chocolate milks. Three small fries and three chocolate milks. Came out to like $24. That price is fire. Out of 10, what are we thinking for a the 10. price? A 10? Yeah, I'm thinking a 10 also. Yeah, that's like a freaking 15. Overall, the Yakko's Connor, hot dog... We can tell Connor like the hot Yakko's hot dogs, bro. <laughs> Yakko's hot dog, overall, what are we thinking? Uh, go ahead, Connor. What are you going to eat? Um, the Yakko's hot dog, overall, 7. 7 for me. I'm going to give it a 7.5. It was good. It, was, it, it didn't wow me. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I Like, there. there's nothing really wrong with it. It's no, just, exactly. I... There was nothing fantastic about it either. Mm -hmm. well, that's it, was, it was just good. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven, seven good. point five. It was good. Um, uh, it, there's definitely worse places to get hot dogs. I feel like our biggest criticism was that there was not enough. Yes. Hot dog. Yes. And the so mustard. You know what? Yakos, thank you. Peace out, homies. Like and subscribe. Comment what we should eat next for Arkeezy food reviews. I'm Arkeezy. This is my food review, and my homies are here as well, all the time. I should just put them in the title eventually. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you're on my YouTube, because you're watching RKZ Food Review.